morning, Waverly. The time is currently 647. Students here on campus are working to give back to children in need this holiday season. Brooke Lenz and Jordan Putz join us now in the studio to explain Holiday Shop. So thanks for joining me first, guys. First, can you, can you kind of explain what Holiday Shop is? Holiday Shop is a gift giving program here in the Bremer County that's been going on for about 23 years now. And um, it's just for impoverished families and so they can have gifts for their children during the holiday season. Okay, can you explain why a little bit, why it's so important to have this holiday shop? Well, this is something that we've been doing, I mean, for over 20 years, so it's, it's uh, really something that's kind of become part of the community already. And we've been seeing that a lot with um, just donations coming in so far, so. Okay. Um, how long have they been holding Holiday Shop? It was a tradition that started in the 1980s here, and um, DHS partnered with the social work department, and so it's kind of become a student-led project that we do in our senior year, so. Okay, how can people get involved in this? Um, well, I mean, they can contact Brooke or um, any, anyone really um, involved in Holiday Shop. Um, we never turn away volunteers, so. Yeah, and we have gift-giving trees on campus locations um, in the W and Chapel, the library and the Mensa, and then we also have very generous churches in the um, public library actually let us put up a giving tree as well this year, so. Okay, um, can you explain how it's beneficial both not only to this, you know, the people you're serving, but also Wartburg students as well? Sure, do you want to start? Um, sure, uh, I mean, this, it's, part of the community and um, the families here who, who need who need to go and um, participate in the holiday shop it really it's something that they look forward to every year and without it they they wouldn't really have what most people have for Christmas yeah it's a very rewarding experience to um, bring all of this together and provide families with these gifts that they may not otherwise have and just the education throughout the community um, St. Paul's uh, the Saints Alive's program, um, they help make ornaments for our giving trees and so being able to educate those youth and um, the Waverly Shell Rock High School, they've made scarves for us last year and will continue to do so this year. Um, so it's just raising that awareness throughout the community, um, but we could not do it without their support as well. So, okay. You guys explained that this has been going on for what, 20 years about? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. um, can you explain a little bit of what goes into planning this event? <laughs> There's a lot. Um, we're broken up into different subcommittees. Um, so Jordan is the coordinator for the community donations. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm the event coordinator, and so it takes everyone. <laughs> Do you, I don't know if you want to tag off of that. I, no, not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I know it's people can donate. It depends, you know, on age, things like that. But mm -hmm. is there any particular things you guys look for people to donate? Um. um. I, this year we're we're gonna have a lot more children than than we've had in the past. So mm -hmm. um, looking at actual items like toys and things, um, clothing, um, monetary donations are always you know always accepted. But um, yeah, the toys are something that we we could. <laughs> yeah, we always say just pick out something that you would have enjoyed at that age. So okay, well thank you guys so much for joining me.